Hello everyone, welcome to Financial Friday. My name is Letitia Hardy and I am with the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service. Today we will be discussing paying your bills on time. So first thing we want to do when we're thinking about saving money or trying to cut back on expenses is we want to be sure that we are paying our bills on time. So some ways that you can do that is pay attention to the details. You want to make sure that you're reading all of your emails. You want to look for any changes to any of the terms of your accounts or your fees um, that may be associated with any of your bank accounts um, as well as with your with your bills. So sometimes we can have a bill that is due and then there may be a fee attached to it in the event that we pay it late or you know we forget to pay it on time we may have to pay a fee associated with that and then also the same thing works with you when you have a bank account sometimes products change with the bank accounts so you may have had this bank account for a long period of time and then all of a sudden they put some new terms with the products that they offer and then they may uh, require a minimum balance to be held for your account and then you will be stuck with having to pay some type of monthly fee or monthly service fee or some type of balance um, a fee for not having the uh, the right balance um, for the account. You also want to adapt your behavior to keep a free account. That is the ultimate goal for us to have a free bank account so that way we won't have to pay any money um, for us to have a, a bank account. So if you could look for accounts that offer free checking, um, free savings, or sometimes they have benefits where you can receive a free account if you open up a savings account or or if you have a savings account and each month you have $25 withdrawn from your checking to go into um, your savings, they won't charge you the $25 fee um, or whatever the fee is for your bank account. So we do want to make sure that we are adapting our behavior to meet those needs so that way we're not spending any unnecessary money. Go paperless. You want to try to get um, your bills emailed to you if they offer um, some type of incentive or a free account just for you to um, receive a paperless billing. This can reduce or eliminate some of the fees um, because we know it's easy to forget um, paying our bills. Sometimes we want to try to remember to set up automatic payments or some type of email reminder. You can even put it in your cell phone. So something as quick as dropping a message in your cell phone um, or an alert in your cell phone that lets you know a day before that your bill is due on this particular date or in your calendar on your phone will actually help save you money because it will remind you that this bill is due. And so that way you won't miss the payment. Your payment will be on time and you won't have to pay any additional fees associated with you making your payments late. You also want to check your monthly for any type of incorrect charges or changes to your accounts or fees because although they are supposed to send out information letting you know that there are changes to your account, sometimes we don't receive that mail. Sometimes we may have missed the mail. It may have got to put in someone else's mailbox or maybe we didn't read it or put it in the shred pile or just threw it in the trash. And so we don't know that there were changes um, to the account. So then we're going to have additional fees for that. Then also, there may be um, some uh, fees that were associated with us paying a bill and we didn't realize that we had those fees or we didn't realize that the fees changed. So we want to make sure that we're checking, checking monthly for anything that is not supposed to be on there. Look for errors on your bill. Sometimes there may be errors on your bills. I, even something that comes the same every month, there can be an error. So if you feel like there's um, a question, you always want to double check with um, your utility company or whomever you are paying uh, the fees to. Even with your grocery receipts, you want to check with um, check your grocery receipts every time you finish your purchase to make sure that the items rang up the way they were supposed to. And if not, you take your receipt back to get services and they will refund you um, the additional um, funds that you overspent. Also, you want to keep a PDF file for record keeping. So saving all of your transactions, it would be a good idea to invest in a scanner. That way you could scan um, the receipts or billing statements and put them in a folder. So that way you can compare them to the, each month. If you don't have a scanner, you can also use your cell phone to take a good picture of it and upload it to your email account and save it um, on a drive. And that way you will be able to have 
um, those records to be able to refer to. And even it will be a benefit for you if you have to use it for your tax time. I would like to thank you for tuning in today for us with our Financial Friday. And we will um, see you on next time.